Hey guys, my name is Michael and over the past year, I've been doing a trip around Australia with my mates. I've done my van build primarily by myself. Although I am quite happy with how it came out, there are a few things in here that I'd like to change. Being that, the airflow. And let me tell you, being inside your van when it's stinking hot with no airflow isn't fun when you're trying to sleep or do anything. With someone coming right around the corner, I've managed to get my hands on a Sirocco 2 fan. Sirocco 2 fan is great as it has a 360 degree swivel, packs up quite nicely into the roof and has three fan settings and a timer. Now these are 12 volt fans, so they won't draw much power at all. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install the fan, how to wire it up, and where I think that I would wanna put my fan to get the most amount of airflow. First, let's have a look at what's inside. So in the box, you get obviously the fan, which like I said before, has a 360 degree swivel. And then for easy storage, when it's on the roof there, you've got this clip you can pull down and it just folds up nicely. They give you a base plate, uh, some cable to wire it up with, with a couple of lugs on the end of it, and just a couple of screws and nuts. Now to wire this system up, what you're gonna need to do is run a cable to your fuse box, and then you're gonna run that all the way back to the designated spot you'd like. I've got my battery down here, which runs all the way up into this fuse box and then branches off throughout the van. I'll show you more on the other side. I've chosen to put my fan up here and I've pre-drilled a hole with the cable coming out. The reason I've chosen to use this spot is because we have an exhaust fan sucking air out down the back of the van and we have two windows on the side here which open up. When that fan's going and sucking out with these windows going, we have nice airflow going through. Now with this Sirocco fan on the top as well, it's just going to add to the airflow, creating a nice cool van on hot, hot days. First things we need to do is grab out our cable and untwist it and connect it. You're gonna connect your positive to positive, your red to red, whatever you've designated that as. Now that your cable's connected and it's hanging out of the roof, you can grab your base plate and you're gonna insert it through these two holes just here. Great idea to remember which one was your positive and which one was your active because you're gonna need to know when we wire it up. <laughs> Just like that. Once you've got that done, and it's just hanging out of the roof, it's pretty simple. There's just two things on the back here. You get a positive and you get a negative. Just match up the corresponding cables to uh, the lugs. Now that your cables are attached, should be easy enough to just push these back into the roof. Line it all up. There you go. And slide it on just like so. Now this can fold up quite easily, just there. So now that the fan's installed and the wiring's all done, let's have a look to see if she starts. Just pull this clip down the side to bring it down here. There should be a button just on the back here. And bang, start. All up, it was a pretty easy install. It's a no-brainer if you're going up into Queensland or south of Australia and your east coast and stuff. It still gets pretty hot around there and you'd be kidding yourself if you didn't want to have as good as airflow as this could give you. It just changes the game at the end of the day. 